Um, we, I've got a historian working on the history of the ram, um, which has helped me immensely. And um, briefly, I think it was built in the 11th century. We know it was an open hall house, so that was a building without chimneys in it. And um, we think the history goes back even further. Although it's in the Doomsday Book, there's more evidence in Worcester archives yet to be interrogated, where we might be able to find out the exact date it was built. Dad wanted to renovate somewhere. He wanted a project to work on and also for the family to run as a guest house. We bought it in 1968 and it was a guest house within a couple of years. And um, the family left later on in the mid 70s and then it became a paranormal event location by accident, really. Some of the guests had experience here, which you cannot explain. Although Dad suspected it was haunted, the guests confirmed it. So then it's kind of evolved into an event location for paranormal activity. We didn't buy it for that reason. It's the oldest building, the oldest house in England. That's a, that's a fact. Um, if, not the, if not the oldest inn, it is, it's just amazing, it's unique. Although I'm running it as a paranormal event location during the night, it's a sitting duck during the day basically and it needs to be used for anything like community projects and um, wedding ceremonies. We'd like to have a restaurant here. I've got loads of, I've got loads of things I want to do with it, but finances have become an issue because of COVID. Luckily, I was able to take film crews, which kept us in business, but only just. Um, but for two years, we made a substantial loss. To maintain the building, uh, every single penny gets invested into maintenance of it. And um, I've had some of the walls um, not rebuilt, but maintained and one chimney. But I need all new windows. Um, all the walls really need to be repointed inside and out. There's a lot of work to be done down the garden. That's still not even started. Um, Money-wise, um, gosh, it's thousands. I mean, I could do with an extra couple of grand a month just to invest in the fabric of the building and I'm not getting it. If money was no object, I'd um, turn it into a community asset. I mean, I get the kids down from the school to do history, education in history. Um, I do more open days and um, it would be a going concern. I'd open it as a pub. I'd have a restaurant here. Um, oh, it could be so many things. I just, you know, we haven't got enough time to tell you what I want to do with it, but it needs to be the hub of Wooten, basically.